for the recording because you just said something very interesting. You're you're talking about jitsu. Jitsu is that what, jitsi or how does jitsi? It jitsi with i. Yeah, the end. Dot org. Okay, can you put the link in the text chat? Ah. Uh, let me check. Uh, you have to go down to the bottom of your screen and then yeah. you find the uh, share screen reactions yeah. no, not share. I'm, I'm not more. I'm not very familiar with um, more. you have to click the ellipses where there's more more uh, let me do that I yeah. don't have more you don't have more no, uh, I don't have I have mute I have stop video participants chat share screen record reactions and leave meeting maybe at oh. the top no, this oh, is gallery should, view. Well, for me, I mean, it, most people are able to do this, so unless for some reason you're... I saw the chat now. Oh, you found it. Where did you okay. find it? Uh, it suddenly appeared. <laughs> <Someone> <laughs> I don't know. Go figure, okay. Uh, um, oh, it suddenly, it suddenly showed... But the, ah, yes, the chat is there now. You say with Jitsi, the students are ejecting each other. I think I put the wrong address here. I typed it wrong, no? Oh, J-I-T-S-I dot yeah. org. Yep, you got it. Do everyone? Yeah, yep. but it's the oh, HTTP. No. G I T S S I dot org. Yeah. Hey, Michael. Hi, Michael. Michael. Hello, you're, Michael. You're in a different place every time. <laughs> he has a poster behind him. <laughs> I mean, we're all confined to our apartments, as you can see, and you're in these exotic locales. I don't know what. what Picked up my laptop and walked down the beach. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, you're lucky you get bandwidth down there, you know, with nobody working in the central office, as it were, but anyway. Well, actually, the beaches are now incredibly busy, busier than they ever are, except for midsummer. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know what's going on in other places. We are allowed to go to the beach. We're not. Oh, you are. We That's are. good. Yes. Yeah, because my brother, he uh, decided to quarantine. Uh, he has a house um, in, uh, in the seaside, and he's a surfer. Uh, and he wakes up early in the morning to avoid all the people around. And yet you have all sorts of police officers patrolling the beaches and making them go out. There's nobody at six o'clock or half past six in the morning, I mean. So he usually chooses this time to go. But sometimes they are, um, uh, there are people who um, sign sign them to the police officers and then uh, they have to leave the beach so everything is closed everything is barricaded and they, oh, well. i don't understand why the beach should be banned i guess that lots of people get together there um not at uh, six o'clock in the morning but i mean <laughs> in australia we've been with it's the one and a half meter, if not two meter rule. As long as you're two meters away from somebody, no one cares where you are. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. good. Yeah, that's good. I, I mean, I hope I, that will happen here. I, I understand that Florida has opened its beaches now for exercise. So mm. yeah, you can't sit on the beach, you can't tan. But if you're walking on the beach, oh, come on. Yeah, give us a break. Yeah. Well, it was yeah. like that in Qatar, stuff. Mm -hmm. that they could walk on the Corniche, but... They, they weren't allowed to congregate or, or stop and have picnics, mm. but they were okay to exercise. Because our, our son's really in Qatar. To watch, because you see people who are walking side by side and you think they live together, right? Whether it's mother and child, husband and wife, Absolutely. and then there are people walking two meters apart. So they don't live together, but they've decided to meet and walk on the beach. And people are incredibly good at it. People have learned to be very wary of other humans. And I went for a walk with my son today and we kept the two meters apart. But whenever you approach somebody else, everybody's already thinking 30 meters away. Who's going left? Who's going That's right? And everybody math. keeps two to three meters <laughs> every single living person. And it's really Are, are you wearing masks on your, on your walk? Well, we know what to do in the future. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you wear masks when you go out? No. Oh, well, actually, if I'm in this situation, like we're walking up and down stairways here, um, 
I carry a mask or I, I put it on when I go outside and then I take it off to where there's nobody in the stairways. Everyone else takes the elevators. In the elevator, I put on a mask and I go like this, you know. Mm. Mm. Well, like elevators are a place for <laughs> high contamination with yeah. all the buttons and everything and people going up and down. We, I, I'm i scared of elevators. Yeah, we're on the 25th floor and we walk up Hola. and down. <laughs> We yeah, there. yeah, we make it a point. We we have two more really? towers outside, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't want to put it on Facebook now while we, this is actually illegal to do this. But um, I'm going to take a picture of those stairs, and we the, the two towers we walk up, and you can see where I take the picture from, and we we go up those towers, down up those towers, down, and to our tower and walk up. And it's about 60 floors, all told. It's about and four thousand stairs a day. It's a nice exercise. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. Well, not very good for the knees, eh? <laughs> if you have knee problems. <laughs> no, but no. My, mine are actually getting. They feel like they're better than because mm -hmm. I, I've eaten them so much. So. Uh, oh, sorry. Five people waiting in the waiting room, and I'm sitting here talking yeah. to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. gonna go and make dinner so you guys you guys yeah. can continue. But okay. nice to see you guys. Well, Vance is letting Hi. people in. Yes, yes, yes. I know they're <laughs> they really pissing <laughs> people off. <laughs> and Strange unintended. Sue. There's Sue. Hello. <laughs> hello, Lane. Hello, hey. Sue. Hi, B. Hey. Hello, never... hello. I haven't hey. seen you for years. No, you hello. <laughs> people keep hello. popping up, don't they? They pop up. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you guys waiting. Uh, the, the conversation here was so engaging, but fortunately, we're, we've been recording it, so uh, you know, catch us in this. I, I, was, I was getting a from Doris. Hey. Hello, Doris. Hello. Hello, Nina. Oh, oh, Hello. That's good. Doris. Bezos. Bezos. Doris. That goes back. Yes. Doris. Oh, oh. Visit, visit. <laughs> Great to see anybody. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, people so nice yeah. to yeah. all. I met Doris. Doris and I met in Concepcion. Nina. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Is that we get the with head picture. Yeah. Yeah. yeah for sure. oh, well, but I, I I still need all of yours. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got one with Daft. Yes, mm -hmm. we met in in Maracaibo. Oh. Wow. Don't wait, Daft, Melinda. So, so yeah, nice yeah, to yeah. see you. Yeah. <laughs> so, my Azuz, and B. Oh my yes. gosh. And Nina. And Nina. Michael. Yeah. Michael, are no you going see. to sing today? <laughs> Sorry. Are we going to sing today? We had to sing Swim. the wet head thing. Yeah. Oh. That depends on how good you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> virtual, yeah. virtual reality. Michael's like got it all started. All we have to do is uh, teleport there and. In we go, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Nina. Hi, Dev. Hi, Lynn. It's, it's a good thing that I'm having Sundays. Oh, I Later. forgot mm -hmm. last week and overslept. I have <laughs> to set my we alarm to for last week. It was Sunday night. Anyway, happy Greek Easter to everybody. Yes, it's Greek Easter Happy today. Easter. Like, right now, if things had gone according to plan, I would be on a plane from Dubai to Athens. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what was the plan? I think it might have to wait 12 months. You were going to be in Athens on Greek Easter. I've never yeah, been. my brother was Greece. celebrating his 70th birthday. My brother is not Greek, but he loves Greece, and we were mm. all meeting. Crete, Mark guy. Mm -hmm. five days on the southern coast of Crete with people from a, a number of countries and it was a, a huge plan and very exciting and it's gone. Yes, mm. everything's gone. Like everything's gone, yeah. Well, yeah. I'd just like to give a shout out to Greece with all its recent economic problems and political problems. Greece has handled the coronavirus in Apparently. such an amazing way that sitting here in the United States and watching how badly this can go. Mm. Greece has somehow put rules or laws in place to keep people getting salaries, to keep rents from being 
collected and people from, from businesses from being evicted. I mean, they really True. somehow organized the whole thing to, you know, I don't know where they got the money. And frankly, I don't know where the United States- I hope they didn't borrow the money, it. Unless they're just printing it, in which case I can't imagine the eventual consequences of that. I don't know where Greece got the money, but they somehow put laws in place to prevent total chaos, which is what we have here. Mm. I'm just, I'm so ashamed. Mm. They've kind of done that in Malaysia. It's, it's here they've got, a, the curve is coming down for the new cases. Mm -hmm. uh, I finally figured out that deaths never comes down. I mean, once you had a death, that's it. Keeps going up, but yeah. not so fast. <laughs> it's, <laughs> so, it's the, ang the angle. Yeah, it's, but it's the new cases that, that will go down. So that's actually going down. That's mm. good. What about well, we have no tests here, so um, obviously they are hiding the numbers from the population. We just know there are people dying, but we cannot count them uh, because there are no tests. So um, we have 200 tests for a million people. So oh my, God. that's yeah. even worse than here. Mm. Mm. But well, I, and again, you have a leader who refuses to take this seriously. No, don't tell me about our leader. There's no leader. <laughs> don't tell me about leaders. We'd better either. be without anyone. <laughs> with no yeah. government, it would work better than with the one we have. Anyway. Yeah. Same here. Mean, meanwhile, in Venezuela is a dreamland. You know, we are <laughs> the ones with the most tests in the whole world. Oh, I thought that was us. Well, maybe, maybe you are, <laughs> because <laughs> they are not in Spain, they are not in Brazil, <laughs> so maybe it, they are in Venezuela. If you want to escape the coronavirus, you can always go to, let's see, Antarctica or North Korea. Yeah. yeah. Or well, Greenland. Maybe not North Korea. But if we all went, then we would bring the virus with us, wouldn't we? <laughs> yeah. I think, I think what we are waiting for, we don't know. We don't really don't know, but um, the army, the NATO is uh, preparing something very, very bad, which we're not we're not told about. Um, they're well, sending, you think sending that, away you? hospital ships for uh, emergency for coming emergencies to fight the war against uh, Corona, and they have evil plans. I'm I'm really scared when I begin to understand what's going on. It's not con conspiracy uh, theories. It is um, the future, a very near future. What's yes. happening in yeah. Denmark in terms of daily lives, Suze? Are people allowed to in go Denmark. out? In Denmark, people are getting uh, confused and happy because we are reopening the country. Uh, the children are back to school um, until grade five which means uh, uh, oh. uh, uh, they are going to open uh, small private uh, places like um, the hairdressers have become extremely famous for some reason. It's very important for people to, to go to a hairdresser. I know. Mm, yeah. Very um, but um, anyway, um, the massage uh, uh, clinics, the, the, the tattoo, Salons, you, you need a tattoo, you really, really need a tattoo. But they have uh, decided that uh, some activities that are uh, mostly one on one basis uh, shouldn't be uh, risky. That's interesting. We haven't, yeah. had, very, we haven't had very many, uh, well, we don't know about cases because same thing here, they are not testing enough. But we haven't had uh, very many deaths and uh, the the, the number of people who are hospitalized uh, is uh, decreasing. And now they are in trouble because they have prepared all the hospitals to receive uh, patients um, for Corona. And uh, they have to find out what are they going to do next with all those patients that have had their, their treatments, their, their operations uh, postponed. Um, oh. The one so thing is we are waiting for about there was two never, weeks. In about there two was weeks, never time, a great we'll see, surge. In about two weeks' time, we'll see how this opening up uh, will um, impact on the 
number of, uh, of cases and uh, there's, it's a very big experiment for human beings. So you're like mm. guinea pigs. I mean, I know the Australian government is talking about watching what happens in other countries. <laughs> and so everybody's watching everybody else and trying yes. to work yes. out what the best path is. And it's amazing how many different paths there are. Yes. Mm. Well, here um, in here in Jujuy, in Argentina, the the governor closed the the the, the province uh, very early, so we haven't had a, a big number of of cases, just a few. And right now, we have been without any cases for two weeks. Oh, that's, that's so great. They are starting because they started early. I mean, they, this this man. I mean, that was. Uh, I think it was the first one in Argentina, and the president was angry because he. <laughs> that that. But here in Argentina, the the provinces are are free. You know, they have their own laws, and so they they don't have to wait for a president to, to act. So. Mm -hmm. Doris, I thought you were. Venezuela. I am from Venezuela, but... Uh, but you're in Argentina. She's in yes, Hawaii. now at the moment. Yes. I'm glad you're not in Venezuela. <sighs> my, my grandchildren are there. My mom is there. I'm mm -hmm. in Venezuela, so every day. Well, I am how, responsible how for... to Argentina? What's uh, well, the story? Uh, everybody else uh, know? My husband died in Venezuela because there was no antibiotics at the time. And, and then uh, three years later, I remarried. I met uh, an Argentinian on, online because we were uh, designing on an online course for a Peruvian university. And that was destiny, you know, because... So it was your web headship. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Online brings people together. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> well, these days it certainly does. People that you would never, ever have thought. Lita. Lita. Hello. It took a long time to get Hello. you in, Rita. You Rita. Nair is there. Passover. Nair is here, too. Yeah. Everybody. The, the world has caught up with the webhead. Mm. <laughs> I think we, we feel like we just have to get back together because there's this distance and we all know each other from way back. So there's like, I've also connected with some other friends of mine that I knew years ago. There's this poll, right? Yeah. Mm. I, I yeah. use the telephone a lot more than I used to. Um, I, probably we have more time now. Facebook. <laughs> I don't yeah. feel like I have more time. I never <laughs> seem to have more time. But you know, when you when you have hour long phone calls with friends, it eats up the time. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> well, there there's this yeah. thing about Zoom Zoom burnout that some people are saying. I've been reading. There's so much on Zoom all day that there's overload zoom overload has anyone I'm, experienced I'm that astonished that yeah. zoom has not crashed not really no. <laughs> if i were but working and huge. having to get up had a routine it would be overload but it's not overload mm. the way it is it's fine it's it's really actually it's wonderful it's, because it's your choice right yeah, it's my choice, and also, well, I really like seeing you guys, and it's actually, in a way, I guess, kind of brought webheads back together. So, yeah, wow, yeah. how nice! Yeah, I Wonderful. have been out of the loop for such a long time. But part Me part too. of that was that, I mean, this I think of as a social hangout, kind of the way tapped in used to be. Mm -hmm. I, the webheads had sort of morphed into professional development and. Mm. I'm not interested anymore because I'm not <laughs> I don't want to develop professionally. I'm just fine the way I am. <laughs> so I stopped, you know, getting up early for that because it wasn't it wasn't relevant to me anymore, but I missed you guys. Mm. Oh. Happy to see you yeah. again. And to that well, end, I, I am that. still still teaching and I really I was a bit um, using the tools and uh, uh, occasionally with my students but now we went online and it's really hard 
and I think that's much harder with the kids than uh, yeah. with adults mm -hmm. because uh, you have to think of ways on how to uh, make them speak mostly because it's easy to give them written work and uh, things mm. to read and so on uh, but they are very shy online so I, I, I would like to know if you are using any anything any kind of uh, activities that uh, force them to speak in a certain way because they they stay behind they don't even switch on their cameras um, which I ask them to do from time to time. Just when I ask a question, I ask them to um, activate their cameras. Some of them say ha they have no cameras. Some of them, they say they have no microphone. So I, I, I suspect that they are doing something else in the room. <laughs> and they just switch in the synchronous meeting just to say they are there for presence. Anyway. Uh, is there anyone using any tools that are interesting? Um, we are, as I was saying to uh, Vance, uh, we are using Jitsi.org, which oh, uh, yeah. for synchronous meetings. The only problem yeah. is that, well, it works very well with um, older children. Uh, however, with the 13, 14 years old, they keep uh, popping in and out and expelling their f friends from the room. Uh, <laughs> something we cannot tweak. Uh, what is now in place, our uh, technical department uh, managed to make a list. Uh, so when they log in, it is recorded. And when they expel some, someone from the room, uh, we can see later on who did what to whom. So this has calmed them down a little bit. Uh, but it's still difficult uh, to make them speak. So this is something right. that... And besides, I, I think that you should involve their parents so that their parents help a little bit, which is not the case with teenagers or adults. They need to be pushed a little bit, children, I mean. What is Susan Well, children, doing yes, but uh, <laughs> She's children... trying to get a, a backdrop. <laughs> <laughs> no, for small children, I have a granddaughter who is seven, and we have just given up on school because uh, the teachers, obviously, they were caught in this emergency. They have absolutely no idea what to do, so they keep sending links and PDFs. We have no printer here in the countryside. We have run out of ink, so we cannot print pages and pages and pages of exercises. And our granddaughter, who is seven, it's impossible for her to manage a computer. My, my uh, my son is working uh, its home office, so we have one computer for him, one computer for me. So uh, it's always the home office is always at the time when she has a synchronous meeting. The synchronous meeting is a mess. The children keep on talking. The parents are inside <laughs> giving their their uh, opinion and suggestions. So uh, we just switched off, and we are trying to. Uh, teach her some other way in the countryside and we do it very very relaxed because it's impossible to follow online but I think that the online is going to continue so I don't know exactly uh, how it's going to be done with these the teachers who have not had any any um, let's say training in online uh, methods it's very I, difficult I with small children <laughs> Denmark is reflecting that realization that it's really tough at the elementary level mm -hmm. to do 100% online. I'm sure that mm -hmm. there are some kids who could do it and some situations where it would work, but I bet that B's situation is not, not uncommon. It's just much harder. With I have a suggestion. Kids. I have a suggestion. Yay, yes, Lane, Lane, okay. please. Flip, All right, flip I'm not everything. saying this is. I'm not saying this is, you know, the panacea. But um, I have a presentation where I talk a lot about how to compete with the world that the kids are in, and that you have to provide an enriched experience. And I give a bunch of ways to enrich your teaching that makes it exciting and compelling and can compete. And and the one suggestion I have right now is what I call the be our guest suggestion. You know, like be our guest from Disney, from Beauty and the Beast, that was be our guest, be our guest. So in other words, the idea is that you invite 
a guest that the kids have heard of or something, or they know, you know, there are people, um, believe it or not, there are people who are willing to do that. And the kids prepare questions. And then there's that guest and the guest is there, even if it's, you know, 20 minutes. And then they'll talk because they want to talk to that guest. Mm -hmm. Then you can pick pick somebody that maybe has a, has, is in a profession that they are interested in, or maybe somebody that's a little known to them, uh, semi-famous or whatever, you know, but the guest comes and it's up to them and you're, you're just sort of off to the side and they'll, they'll, Mm. they'll engage. And then Mm. you have somebody, what I do um, is I had someone who had learned all these different languages and my students got very interested. Well, how did you learn this one and that one? And they'd learned some of them um, naturally, others in a classroom. I mean, obviously I'm not working with children. I'm working with, you know, with older, but what, what I noticed was we had one person be the note taker. So she, she took notes on the whole discussion because she wasn't a talker. So she kind of shy. So she was the note taker. Do you see what I mean? And then some of the others asked questions and one other person was like the moderator and you just sit back and they'll do it. Mm. You get out of their way, they can do it. You have to be, think of who to ask though. Mm-hmm. That's my yeah, the question is finding the person who knows a lot about technology as well so that he can manage or, or else you will have to teach him or her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, you, that's incorporated. Yeah. You know, when you're doing it, you have to have somebody, sure. To be yeah. a Muppet. Had, in this um, case, <laughs> you'd have to have somebody who was going to speak English mm-hmm. to a bunch of Brazilian kids or just mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had an interview before the lockdown, before all this. We, we uh, managed to have an interview with um, Alexander Hayes and Magali because they are going in Australia. They are doing fantastic work as activists for the Aboriginal people. And uh, we were studying uh-huh. Australia. This was uh, at the Lycée, so this was in high school. And the kids first had to uh, read a lot about all the Aboriginal ways and uh, uh, what they were facing and all the history about the stolen generation and all that. And then finally, uh, I invited um, Alexander and Magali were very nice to uh, talk to us for the whole hour. So we used, I don't remember which uh, platform. I just know that our school bungled it all because they couldn't, uh, they had uh, lots of blocks there. So uh, finally we recorded the the interview. but they prepared questions because they read about Alexander, they read about Magali before, and then they wanted to ask real questions about what they had read and uh, to confirm or uh, know a little bit more about him. It was very successful. So I think that this is a very good way to, um, um, to have students engage in real life, let's say, having to use the language in a real uh, situation where they want to know more. This was very nice. But I mean, finding people all the time, it's not very easy. No. It has to okay. go together. Um, it has I'll to come. go together with, yep, come on, Lane. <laughs> I'm just thinking a lot of times over the years when I spoke to classrooms of webhead teachers, yeah. it would, at least a dozen times. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I used to do it, I think Teresa used to do it. I would come into people's yeah. classrooms for five or 10 minutes if the children or the students were giving a talk. She, mm-hmm asked him to give feedback on the talks and the feedback from the teacher all the time is the moment you brought a stranger in they don't have to uh, be yes. a well guest it's just someone else the dynamic changes far away country, <laughs> really. and the level of inter- interest just increases so you could use us be mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you know i think a, a good web uh, student because i uh, yeah i have uh, invited all the web heads to come to meet my guys, you know. <laughs> so, I remember. Nair came and, 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 and visited yeah. us. It was an impromptu thing, you know. I said, okay, who is online? Let me see who is online. And then you, you drag that, you know, come here. I know <laughs> teachers and, and I know I have known them for years. So I know they're going to be wonderful, okay. So uh, that, that's a less word, you know, you don't worry about who are you bringing mm-hmm. into the classroom because you got good friends like you, you know, when you have a, a community of practice like this, it's, it's mm. easier for teachers. Mm. Yesterday, I got three more, more, you know, so they 
my 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 students are not a, a, a ch children they are adults they are doctors and and I teach them one on one classes okay so they are used only to be by themselves because they don't want to lose face they, they are you know they compete because they know each other so so oh. it's like <laughs> so but yesterday they were all of them in the same place and one of them was like, "Ha! Ah, where is your favorite student? It's not here. He's not coming." <laughs> you know? So, but they loved the experience. Uh, they 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 were really uh, they forgot about being afraid because they wanted to talk to the teacher. So, it's a good idea. <laughs> it works. Yeah. Has anyone used um, uh, Jamboard, Google's Jamboard? Mm. No. It's it like a white uh, a whiteboard that is interactive. I don't know. Some people were speaking about it, but I have never used it. So just wanted to. I've know. heard about it. I've heard mm. about it, mm. but I haven't used it yet. Yeah, I opened it. Yeah, I opened it on my computer, but then I will run out of ideas of what I could do with it. So uh, it's basically writing on it, but I don't see much language going on in there. So I don't know exactly how to how to put this into practice in language teaching. Anyway, put its link in the well, chat because anything that goes in the uh, chat will be yeah. in the in the in the blog okay. in the blog post. So. so I don't know the the link. Uh, I just know the name. When you open uh, Google, if you have a Google account, yeah. mm -hmm. you have yes. <laughs> you have yes. the uh, the same side part where you have all the drive and all that. You have something called Jamboard. Okay. And we'll, it we'll is uh, it. it's a whiteboard. It's a whiteboard online. Mm -hmm. um, but I have not found out how to <laughs> work with it. Maybe Carla, with, with her Amplifica, she knows more about it. She can, uh -huh. will be able to well, teach I, this on, I watched on a, a webinar on the yes. use of Jamboard, uh -huh. and they suggested many things, and I have taken down notes on how to use it effectively. And uh -huh. I, I can remember that there was uh, one idea which I enjoyed, which I liked, and maybe I'm going to talk about it because I'm giving kind of uh, webinars in Spanish for uh, local teachers. So mm -hmm. I'm going to include Jamboard, so I need to go through it in detail. But I mm -hmm. do remember that she spoke about um, an idea she had in mind and she had tried and it was uh, making the students uh, draw because you can draw on the yeah. on a board and then draw a kind of um, linear figure, human figures, and mm -hmm. um, just talk about what they did and what they did not uh, like about whatever, maybe mm -hmm. doing every day and uh, using the language with every single figure, like mm -hmm. in a sort of table and drawing and writing at the same time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, she mentioned many other ideas and I can't remember them right now, but uh, it is a good kind of um, mm -hmm. choice within Google Classroom. Has mm -hmm. anybody used Google Classroom? I'm, I'm using Google Classroom. I find it ah. extremely, extremely uh, efficient and I'm, I, I really I recommend it to everyone. I agree. You need I agree. to get used to it. Uh, to organize your thoughts. So now I have sort of managed to organize it because when you don't have much content, uh, you are sort of lost. You have topics, you have assignments, True. you have tutorial and all that. Yeah, yeah. But now I have managed to find out uh, by error. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> What, how it works and it looks quite organized and I'm very happy because I managed to have conversations obviously it's all written but conversations with my students about particular assignments they are not very sure of so it is a direct channel of communication and um, you don't have to pass through the email which is a I mean I, I get oh, lost yeah. Email and this um, this allows me to follow the students much closer than I used to in class in presential classes. So uh, it's really nice, but it gives you double work because obviously they um, uh, they are doing their work at a very different times. So three times a day, I just have a look uh, and see if there are any uh, uh, messages for me because sometimes the younger ones they just stop and say, "Ah, how do you do this? How do you do that?" 
and you have to explain. So uh, it takes a lot of your time. Anyway, right, you right. go back to the whiteboard idea, and mm. I came to the conclusion years ago that live yeah. synchronous teaching will not work without a whiteboard. The whiteboard mm. is the tool. <laughs> That, that kicks everything into another dimension. And I'm borrowing lots of ideas from Jonathan Finkelstein, who I'm sure yeah. you remember, Learning Times. And Jonathan used to do things like you'd arrive in the room and there'd be a circle of chairs. The first thing yeah, you need I to remember do is that. write your name alongside mm. the chair you want to sit in. And at some mm -hmm. point, you need to explain why. And that was just a really nice little exercise to get everybody relaxed. Mm -hmm. Then if there were eight people in the room, he would divide that board and he'd have preset slides and eight squares and say, okay, Michael, that's your square. B, this is yours. Johnny, that's yours. And he would present a task and they all did the task within their own little square. Or he would divide the board into quadrants and allocate a point of view or an idea to each quadrant and get people to contribute ideas to that quadrant or that idea. And another brilliant thing he used to do was a poetry slam. Mm -hmm. He would get everybody to write on the board an adjective and a noun and maybe an adverb. So dog mm -hmm. running quickly. So mm -hmm. you'd have this random selection of phrases on the board. Then he'd ask people in the room, well, typically he'd, he'd ask for a volunteer. And so you became the poet. And you moved all those phrases around and created a poem. But you can have two of those things going on at the hello, same time. Hello. So you're watching two poems being written in real time hello, on two sides hello. of the board. Yes, now you this of the to class you. votes on which is the best poem. Well, what do you mean? Why did you put those phrases there? Jonathan was just full of stuff using mm. white all mm. the time. He, he mm -hmm. was brilliant. So they... Yeah. But one, one of the things that was great about learning times was that you had this um, whiteboard included in the, in the platform because here you, you would have to go outside to go to another platform and then you lose the, I mean, you could always make your window smaller, but you have to go outside uh, to have this. So I have been using Google Classroom, for instance, for writing. Uh, so they, uh, they brainstorm on a the theme and we use the class comment area so they all can see each other uh, commenting on different things. Uh, but this is I would like to, yeah, I would like to have something inside, like for in Zoom now, have like um, a, a board inside, let's say, right? Where you can one. see the let's people. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's Brisbane. do it. Let's do it. Maybe let's we can do, do it. it. <laughs> okay. Yes. And so. it should be collaborative. Okay. Who's, yeah, oh, yes. We, there we go. You just click annotate. You click annotate and then you okay. get it. Okay. Where is the annotate? Yes. You, it's so. under view options. So go to view under options view with the drop options. down. You'll see annotate, click it, and you'll see all the tools come up. View options. View, okay. All right. Um, uh, I don't see it. And view no. options. It's at the top. Next at the to top. the green area it's, where. It's yep. at the top. View options at the top. At the top. When the white screen appears. Oh, you, How did you get you that have, white screen? Well, it's a share. I okay. Hear. So, oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. So yes. you you yeah. you share your screen. When you when you share your screen, there are options of what to share. The mm -hmm. whiteboard is always there. It's usually the second from the left in the top row. You click uh -huh. whiteboard. Ah, oh, yeah, great. And then okay. once you have the whiteboard, participants can look up at the very top. We can see we're seeing now your screen. Look, uh -huh. view options. Oh, view options. Drop down. Yeah, I see. Okay. View options, then uh -huh. click annotate, uh -huh. and you will see the toolbar ah, for the annotating. Lovely. Ah. Whoa. Yeah, I've, I've been using this. It's fun. Oh, it's <laughs> it's nice. fun, yeah. yeah. It's a little clunky. It's not a, the best whiteboard we've ever seen, but it works. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. I've, mm. I was aware it was there. Who told us yeah. that it was there? Mm. Uh, but uh, I never tried it before. So mm. uh, great. Yes. It this does really not cool. allow you to put images on it, unfortunately. Ah. Ah, you can no, ask. but uh, excuse me. I went, hello. Can you hear yes, me? Hello, Hi. Hi. Yes, hello. Hi. Hi, hello. Well, uh, I use uh, different uh, 
uh, browsers or documents. And mm -hmm. whenever I I want to to I want the students to see something or do something, I share a new screen. Mm -hmm. So I may have uh, several uh, tabs open, and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I show them. I usually have a document in Drive, and I write there, and they see what I write. And if I want them to write anything, I use the board. Uh, or you can use different different uh, items here mm -hmm. uh, and read uh, or anything. Now, mm -hmm. there's a setting. There's also a setting you can preset it to automatically save the board when you stop sharing. You can mm -hmm. also manually save it, but there's a setting in advance. So in case you forget and somebody clicks stop share, uh, it will automatically save, but it's a preset. You have to set. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it says save. Okay, great. So there is an icon which says yes. save. Yes. It says. Yeah, that's a, that's the manual. But I'm just saying, if you want to be sure, oh. you know, like okay. the same thing with recording. If you want to be sure to record instead mm -hmm. of manually, you can preset automatic I record. See. So Zoom is a lot like that, where you can decide either ahead of time mm -hmm. or on the fly what you want to do. Mm -hmm. oh, great, I want I want to say mm -hmm. something about about this. I have a uh, different classes hit from six to eleven. I'm teaching mm -hmm. Spanish, and uh, I've been using Zoom, and I sh I uh, share my desktop, and I I change from different uh, pages, and I use a lot Kahoot. And I oh, use uh, live, 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 it's fun. It's fun. live, it's live fun. worksheets. Live worksheet is very good too. And uh, when I want which one? Work, live what did you say? Let you live worksheet. Live. Put the links uh, in the well, text chat. Let, let Can you write, write it because I don't understand? Live worksheets? Yeah. Live no, it, yeah. it, it, it's a only one word, live worksheets. And huh. it, it has, it has, it is, uh, it has uh, things in Spanish and English, and I don't know if in any, any other language. Okay. It's very good. It has all uh, type of content. And when I, <laughs> when I want to work with the little people, it's more difficult. Uh, no, I, I didn't mean that, uh, Doris. All kind of content like the no, house. I was laughing at the <laughs> Sus. And Sus was uh, saying. Yes, Sus is. is okay. <laughs> she's wearing a green sweater, so, her, you know, look at her, there she is. When they say about uh, a green. <laughs> A green background. It means that they they want you to to put like a, a green curtain behind you, uh -huh. yeah. and then that is when you can show any virtual background. Cool. But this is a very it would be best. Way, you know? it, it would be best. Zeus has always been yeah, you the, know, the an innovator. The opposite. So. It's doing the opposite thing, which is very interesting. I think. Yes. Yes. I that like it. Be, Regarding the Ed puzzle, I use that too because uh, uh, I I show videos to the students like the little ones. I mm -hmm. show stories, mm -hmm. you know, and then I stop the story and they have questions. They have to guess what's coming, and and uh, so they talk. And yeah. I also use I open a, a Google Doc, mm -hmm. and I made and I made it open so everybody can write. And mm -hmm. uh, so we make games like uh, someone start a drawing and the other have to guess what the drawing is. Or mm -hmm. I, I show uh, like a picture and they have to describe the picture. They have to say, oh, mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. has good, and all that stuff. And um, an idea for Jamboard as well. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's what I use the, 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 all the desk, desk sharing uh, for. And I, you know, mm -hmm. I have different different pages open, so I change from one to the other because you know that kids they have a very short uh, attention span. Attention span, yeah. Yeah, so you have to change activities. Change all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
because they are sitting down in front of a computer and they are not playing games. So, you know. They are multitasking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it has to be like this. So I, I use it like that. I use, uh, uh, or I bring like, oh yeah, this one they like. It's, uh, it's called, a, it's called jig, jig Zone. Yeah. Exactly. It, yeah, it's, it, it's not an educational site. It's for uh, jigsaw puzzles. Oh, I used to play with that and, a lot. I, had, and, I was yeah, sick with that for a while. And you can upload any kind of picture and it becomes a, a jigsaw. And uh, mm -hmm. so you can use a picture for the content you're giving and then, you know, they have to guess what the, the picture is. And then um, I have like, uh, in this case, I, uh, I give them like, uh, they, they have a, a, the time is measured. So they take turns seeing which one is going to finish the puzzle first in, in less time. I usually have maximum three students. I have two or three students. So this is, uh, this is easy because the, the, uh, they won't take more than uh, three minutes to complete a, a puzzle because I, I don't make many pieces. But they like that because they can describe then the picture and uh, they can talk about it. And, uh, and that's what I do. <laughs> yes, yes. Are there students in Spain? Or yeah. are they in other countries? No, I mean Spain. Yeah, I know you're in Spain, but where are your students? Uh, mainly here in Spain because, uh, you know, I live in a very touristic place. I live mm -hmm. where people come on vacation, Denia. Uh, Vance has, has been here, so he knows. And there, there are lots of uh, British, German, uh, Italian, uh, Dutch people here, French more than Spanish. So they want to learn Spanish and they want the kids to learn Spanish fast. I see. So they're yeah. actually living there in Valencia. No, I'm not in Valencia. Valencia, I'm in Denia. Denia. Uh -huh. Yeah, they, they, yeah, but, but uh, we cannot go out now. We, we've been here for uh, more than a month now. So yeah. uh, to some of them, I was already teaching online, but, but some of them I was teaching uh, face to face. But now we're teaching online. And mm. my, my main concern were the little ones because I had yes. never taught little ones online. But uh, it was like a challenge for me. But mm. it's, it's been okay. Mm. If I, yes, if hello. I, I can say I'm not sure my audio, my sound is good today. I just. It's, yeah, it's good. It's good. Good. It's good. It's good. Different room today. Thanks for confirming. Well, I have a few things. First, thank you so much, everyone, for all this information. It's so useful to me. So, right. just highly appreciate it. The last three weeks have been absolutely amazing. Uh, so, I appreciate <laughs> you know, each one of you. Uh, but I have, I, I, I'm at the moment not doing so much Spanish teaching or language teaching because I'm in a new project. And uh, we're doing some solo sessions, self-organized learning environment. Self-organized learning environment. And this, what does that explain, please? <laughs> well, it's, um, it started in India. It was it's, 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 it's most um, better known by the experiment in the world. So, um, Sugata Mitra put computer on the wall, and the children went, and then they were learning without any adults. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> but what we're going to do is that I have a solid trained uh, facilitator, and she's going to use Zoom, uh, and we're going to bring a big question to the children. We have a group of 13, 14 children between 6 and 12. Um, and the question, the big question this week is the first time, so it's a trial. Um, so it's how is online connection different to real life connection? So they're going to be working to answer this big question. Now they, they already have done physically at RADA in a, in a studio, but now we're going to move this online. So it's, it's quite a challenging thing at the moment to do. Um, we're very concerned because there should be no interferences 
and we're going to say that parents are going to interfere <laughs> from home. So how to stop that? So we can't leave any children unattended in a room. So we have to create breakout rooms, but we have to be present because it just happens too often. Ah. What I guarding at the moment is to do with the parents, not to see to other children from other houses, other families. So that's uh, one concern. Another was um, the inclusion, so that the, uh, children could have laptops to connect. Mm. And the technology they use, they're all is all accessible. So it's not too fancy. <laughs> there are many things online at the moment. So we try to ask the children not to, to use these filters because not all can use them. They're all computers. We have found a charity that provides laptops and computers for the children I don't have. So we have done that already. Um, and so this is the approach we are trialing next week. And all these um, you know, resources are wonderful, but we're not very experienced on <laughs> so, you know, the two rooms, then leave the children to discuss. Helping hand. But, uh, but it is another thing I wanted to talk about is that last week I, I started a community Zoom so that we parents would talk about things that you know, matter to us and how we were coping with learning of our children at home. And my 10 year old daughter um, said, I, how about we do one for, just for children only? And I said, wait, who is going to hold that? Because I'm not the child. I will. But she posted the sessions. I mean, you know what? I'm learning so much. <laughs> you should be so proud. Because, well, she's very confident. She's more confident than me. <laughs> so she uses and you brought her up to be that way. She's got a blackboard, physical blackboard. And she, she puts the mirror, she changes it so she can write the letters. And she makes drawings based on what the children instructions. She asks the children, do you, what do you want me to draw? And she draws like the nose by one child, the eyes by, by distraction from another child. So it's a, it's, a very, it's a very interesting dynamics. Now this week she did a game that she makes up five minutes be, be, before uh, starting the session. And she says, find something red in your house. And everyone ran <laughs> to find something red or something blue. And it was really a fantastic icebreaker. So that's my, uh, how she's, uh, you know, hosting. It, yeah, it gets them up, moving, kinesthetic. That's good. Yeah. And there are few things that we can do. Great, uh, great. I, I've just been putting links to um, the COVID-19 teaching crowdsource document. You know, actually, we have links here in the text chat. Anybody who puts a link in the text chat here goes out onto my blog, so we can retrieve this. But I've just been using it to find things that I knew were in the document, like uh, what Mike Contreras does to play Kahoot with his students. He has instructions there. And um, anyway, or you can go to that document, you can search on Kahoot, and you can find maybe more mm -hmm. information. I just copied a little bit of stuff from it. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyhow, that's a... So that's a it's nice to populate that, but it, if it doesn't really matter where it gets populated, I'm I'm also trying to move that. There's a link to a wiki page at the top of that. I, I move some things. I haven't had a chance to do it for the last couple of weeks, but I'm hoping to move some things uh, more cohesively, uh, coherently, I should say, into uh, that wiki so that they'll be e more easily retrievable. Right now, though, you can go to that document. And you can search on things, and you can or just scroll through it and see what's there. It's a lot of people have been leaving things there. Uh, mostly it's me though. But anyway, this is the way I've been trying to, Talon is one way I've been trying to get people to share information and it's working quite well. It's thanks to you, so we're all here. Mm -hmm. uh, well, no, thank to the ha thanks to the cat herder, uh, Vance. I think that you said that you could um, save the chat. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Right. If you put a link in the chat, it will come out in the you, blog. Mm -hmm. It's there's three dots right next ah, to where yes. it says every everyone. You right click it, and one of the options is save chat. 
-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But the whole chat? Oh, you yes. Actually, I've been putting the whole chat oh. into all the go to learningtogether.net and you'll see the whole chat from our recent. Uh, um, do you know that, Do you know if you can do that with Skype as well? Because last night I was using yeah. Skype and I couldn't. Mm. I couldn't manage to save the whole chat. Mm. You may Even have with to, Control A. Yeah. Sorry. Even with Control A. Yeah, I didn't you, try that. Control A, yeah, if you can or scroll down, but Control A, that's total a better select. idea. Yeah, total select. Er, select all. Copy it, paste it somewhere. Control A, select all. Maybe and shading the whole, highlighting the whole yeah. chat. If and it's then all copy. there, yeah. I think mm. that that's impossible. It's on Skype, you cannot highlight the whole it. script. You might have to go scroll. You might have to put your cursor somewhere and pull down and capture a bit at a time. I don't really know how it works on Skype. Mm. Uh, oh maybe, uh, Pants, yeah. maybe when you are posting this video, uh, mm -hmm. you can post it with all the links that were mentioned in, the, yes. in that video. We'll do so that. That's, that's what I'm we'll saying, that. yes. That's, uh, <laughs> if you post it, if you share it in Facebook or whatever, you, you just play only the links okay so not a lot of information just the, the, <laughs> the important thing so this is good for kids <laughs> it's giving you an idea <laughs> i know i know you are wonderful <laughs> it's a blog post and you can search it's got a at yes the top but says, i mean open i mean if you want to hmm? yes if you share it in the in the in the in a social media like Facebook, okay? A lot of people is oh, right now, I mean, yesterday, today, you got the Eiffel, Eiffel, Eiffel. Eiffel, it's uh, going on right now. Yes. We're competing Yesterday with was it. all day, yes, and today is all day. I was mm -hmm. trying to follow yesterday, and I, I mean, and they, they got, I got friends in, in the Italian community, they were having sessions too. So you have teachers now bombarded with a lot of mm -hmm. information, you know? You have to pick and choose some kind of the important stuff yeah. like this one. Yes, that's, it's so good that, uh, you know, it's, it's shame yeah. uh, that it's mm -hmm. visit. And that, this is what we really need. For example, I got kids face to face. I used to have them. Now they are at home and I haven't found a way to, because I never had taught kids online. So this uh, opportunity of here, uh, for me, these links I'm going to try and I'm going to see, finally be brave and start something with them, you know, this week. <laughs> so... This is, some, this is what we really need right now. A lot of teachers need right now. You know, mm -hmm. Basic things wow. like, like this. The web games, they love games. Make, make some kind of game, and then, but it's teaching, learning. Jeopardy, simple games you can put, mm -hmm. they can mm -hmm. construct ideas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As long as they think it's a game, <laughs> um, learning. Where, when you use Zoom, I have not used Zoom very often. I mean, just for family meetings and now. Um, it's only the moderator who can split. How does this whole thing about separate rooms work? The break How room. do you do the break rooms? Yeah. yeah at the, in the bottom, you have. Yes. Uh, oh, hang on. This. Do you have only, the, only the host Managed or the co-host can see that you option. can make you can have a co-host you mm -hmm. can you, somebody you trust mm -hmm. and uh, then where is ah no i cannot do it because i am not no. i don't have the no, vance, powers but the host well, vance can make you the host vance can can, make can, can check can check his bottom screen and find that find that the break rooms are there and uh, open yeah, them yeah. and then you have different choices in, in mm -hmm. a little window you if you walk. want if you want in participants you open that and you can make me co-host and i could see because i don't yeah. remember just talk me I, through what you want me to do uh, I'm you looking for them happens. myself. I can't it find. How do you how do you make a person a co-host? When drop, you go drop. when you go to the bottom, mm -hmm. you have participants. Yes, manage participants. And uh, participants, you you click on that, uh -huh. and you see the names of everybody here. Uh, but you're you're talking about making a host or a co-host? Co-host. 
because no, it your, doesn't your work cursor, that way. The way you have only one. one okay, let's see. To, Lane wants to talk. Uh -huh. the, the way the, the way it works when you're in the participants pod is that it your cursor won't show show the people as having options unless your cursor is right next to their name and then you see blue. And when you see more with a drop down, then one of the things under more will be make host, make co-host. But it won't be blue unless your cursor is next to their name. Are, are and you unless you have a host to begin with. I, I'm the host. And I, yeah, only when I click on right more, can do it that. could be that I need to make be... Me, make me a co-host. Well, you have to... Oh, okay, I'll see if I can capture my screen. Let me just do a print screen here. I'll show you what I see. Well, you should be able to put your cursor on B's name, and then it will turn... You'll have options to either mute her or a more drop-down menu. Or more. Yeah, I've I can only rename chat, myself. Stop video, spotlight video, make host. Not host. No, host no. Mean, yeah, host means you give host. it away. Well, that that means you turn over the host to that person. Yes. And, then yeah. you won't be you won't be the owner of the. That's exactly yeah. right. Or allow record rename put in waiting room. I get. No, no, never mind. You and, don't have make co-host as no, an option. No, no. And I okay. think I think so that could me, be it could I, be in the if if I ran the in app. the setting in the setting of the there, meeting. The thing about Zoom that frustrates me is that what I was mentioning before is that there are a lot of things that if you don't preset for exactly, it, yes. it, won't, it uh, won't be there. I've so looked this polling, up. So polling, for example, you have True. to preset allow polling or it won't ah, show up. Ah, that's, that's right. So yes. Uh -huh. Yes. You, have, you were that's telling me about that. Yeah. Up. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have to preset allow making co-hosts. Yes. And then you'll see it as an option. Right. Ah, when okay. When you configure your room. They're, they have defaults, and sometimes their defaults are not the kind of things we would like as defaults. Mm -hmm. they're because too they are not teachers. They they're are not teachers. They are not teachers. Yeah. We have another mentality. Another thing <laughs> that they have, another, another thing that they have is that they have live uh, training, and you can attend those uh, in, in Zoom. So you go to their site and search for training and you have tutorials and you have live training mm -hmm. in which you can answer, ask questions at the end. And in there, they give you all these kind of uh, uh, settings that you can do. I did them before I, when the college said that we would be using this tool and I did them. So I wasn't that lost in the, in the, during the training. Mm -hmm. Also, I, I have printed out a list of all the shortcuts, keyboard mm. shortcuts in Zoom. I, re, I made the list this way. I re, it's not organized this way, but I made my own list mm -hmm. of what you want to do and what's the shortcut. Mm -hmm. I have it right in front of me. Mm. I suggest you do that. It makes it mm -hmm. a lot easier. Why don't you PDF mm. that list and send it out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. oh, that's a great idea. Why should you do it? I already did it. There you go. Oh, so because then you learn. Because then you uh, learn when you do your own. <laughs> better okay. better so, than that. So I, better. I think that better so, than that. Uh, uh, put uh, how upload do I share it this with to. You? What should upload I do? it if you have it in your computer. Upload yeah, sure. it to I your do. drive. Up, upload it to your drive and share it. Share the the link with with everybody. I mean, in one place or in the. Or share it with in the Vance chat. And or with Vance. Well, if you share it in Drive, that's a good idea. Then you could put the link here in the text chat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Open Drive. <laughs> upload it to Drive. Get a shared link. Do it now. Bang. <laughs> Did someone so say you don't need now? to do other yeah. web heads or what? I use Drive for everything. <laughs> yeah. uh, something I wanted to mention. I wanted to mention that I am working with uh, adults in ESOL, and yesterday I had a four-hour class, so I needed to have uh, activities that were not uh, uh, that were different than than what we usually do. Something I did yesterday was we were working with culture of the United States and I shared this mm. can you see this mm -hmm. uh, 
and I share this with them. I, they can not touch it, but I can touch and I ask them. And mm -hmm. they, I was asking them, which one is this or where is that or which are the mm -hmm. states or whatever, which are the mm -hmm. zones. And uh, we spent more time that, than I had expected because mm -hmm. you also have I don't know if you can hear the pronunciation. No. Can you? No. Okay. Let, because to do to allow you to listen to that, I have to give uh, permission to Zoom to share my computer sound, mm -hmm. which is done when you share the screen. Before you share, you have a window, and in that window, uh, in the in the bottom left corner there is an option that says share computer sound. So mm -hmm. that must be how people watch videos together. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. also. Right. And then you share that and then share. And then now you can hear. Nevada. Aha, uh -huh. oh, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. South Dakota. Great. So you, okay. they, they, you can ask them to tell you and then hear. Illinois. You can practice pronunciation. Mm -hmm. the, anything that you want to, to, that is interactive, can be shared this way and you give the control of, uh, mm -hmm. of what you want them to do, right? Mm -hmm. And they were paying attention, but they were adults. Mm. That's something else you can do. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lor uh, Lorena, <laughs> you wanted thing to you talk. Can do. Another thing you can mm. do, excuse me, Lorena, just one, one small thing you can also do, you can give a Talon session to everybody else. All you have to do is you go to Talon. Oh, do that. Will yeah. you do that? Tinyurl.talon2003, uh, isn't it? 2002, sorry, uh, 2020. Show, Talon2020. Yeah, show us. I'll, I'll put the link in there. And all you have to do is go to that website, schedule yourself, and you can tell, you can teach us. And we'll all uh, mm. interact with you just like we're doing now. Mm. <laughs> I'll, I'll put the link in there. OK, oh, uh, Lorena, go ahead. I just want. I was wondering uh, if if there is for different memberships in Zoom, uh, we have different options yes. uh, because we have the Zoom Pro and we have two hosts, uh, so I don't have to present that and I don't have to present breakout rooms as well. I mean, as a learner, uh, my goodness, in two thousand and five, I le I study an online study um, and I did use breakout rooms as a learner. Uh, at the time, it was only chat rooms, um, so it's. I felt it was very easy. Painting. Yes, I mean, I couldn't do as a student anything. It was the teacher who did everything, um, and they was there without interfering. We were working. We were adults, of course. Um, so I, I had very good experience as a student on that, mm. and, and I think the children can work very well. But what they were saying is that I think it depends on the membership in Zoom. I don't know, uh, the free version, I think, uses uh, break room, but uh, they have a limit in time. You only, you can only have um, uh, meetings for 40 minutes. I, I don't have, know that's if that's you can one of those basic accounts, and I have not hosted a lot of meetings, but whenever I have, they have never stop the meeting after 40 minutes. Although I've heard if they do, you can just start another one. But the, I've never had that. Sometimes they'll send me a little announcement, aren't you lucky we're not gonna enforce this limit today. Oh, and other okay. times it just goes on. Like yesterday, oh, I was meeting with some friends. We went over an hour. They never stopped it. I, I think no. they've changed it's that. Only one, no. for one, one, I mean, it's only two people. You can stay as long as you want. Okay, but if you got more than three, then three people already, you know, they will. That's what they say. But sometimes they extend it indefinitely when, whenever, I mean, if you oh. have more than three, they, they just uh, let you go on. I don't think they're very actively enforcing it, but obviously they could. But then you can just start another one. We, we, we tried with, with Naid and, and Nancy, remember? And we were yes. cut off at 40, so. Mm. <laughs> That's never happened to me, but I don't have much experience. Maybe they listen that. to your meeting and if it's interesting, they let it go on or, no. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. sorry. <laughs> 
what, what I know is that Zoom is offering for free, uh, you know, as more than 40 minutes to schools that have been affected by COVID-19. So I can share, find the link and share. So you apply and you can use the free membership for longer than 40 minutes. Yes, I'm, I'm, uh, I mean, I'm freelancing. I don't have a, a school uh, uh, e email, so that's why I haven't been able to. Oh, well, I, I never, I, I haven't tried. I'm going to try, but probably the, it, it says if you have a school uh, G, uh, mail, then you get. Uh, try. Yeah, I would contact. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try, yes. This week, I'm starting with kids online. So <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Good luck. We, I see we lost Michael. Yeah, Michael yes. has gone. Yes, yep. he's left. It's I'm late in Australia. The other Michael, oh. Michael Birch, who has not had his video on and not talked. Well, oh, he, he did. He did text him. chat with us. He said he was listening to. Okay. Is it Andrew Underhill in the Ayatefel? He said he was in two places, so it was very nice of him to come here. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> You know, so has like. He, yes. well, I don't know. He, he actually came here and he was, uh, you know, he was, uh, you know, he participated. It was nice of mm -hmm. him to come. So thank you, Michael, well, for coming. We're going to bring all the pictures for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going into my websites and uh, uh, finding this is the Zoom offer that that's where you can find it that's a link to the website which that crowdsource document feeds to if i have time to feed stuff there into that document so that's the document and that's where you can find information about the, the free zoom for k-12 does anyone does anyone know how is determined how our cameras are aligned on the display panel for the gallery view how does that happen you can't move them, I, I notice. No. No. I think it's done. How, how does that happen? Do you mean for you or for the recording? Because you can, you, by, can do, you can do it any way you like. By people who have joined. I yeah. think that fans join first. The order? And I've, I've, I think this is the order, yes. Uh, the ah, order that. that you join in time. Ah, but I, I think I, think I it was the first. last one. But maybe I don't know. We're we're in different positions. I think was, B I is over so there. Is B I over there? Is, is right here. Is there. Uh, yes. is over there. Yeah. When I got here, uh, oh, you were already oh, there. You mean, Nina we was at B. Was it? Uh, yeah, they're we're all. We're not seeing the same thing. No. no and also, oh. you have you have control over your yeah. own. You have uh, yes. what do you have a speaker view and a mm. full screen view. Green, I know, but what, view. Yes. I know. I know, but oh. in the gallery view, our gallery view is not the same. We're not seeing the same gallery view. Mm. Well, I think Vance is below. Vance is above Lane. Of course. I am yeah. above Doris. Uh -huh. uh, she's so above. She's yeah. over there. Mine is oh. My gallery. Mine is oh, no. And you're different. next to me, B. <laughs> For and me, I'm, I'm, Vance and B. I'm, I'm right Wait. between Vance and B. You need to no, make a screenshot. Oh, no, no, I am. I am between Vance and B. Me make a too. screenshot and show us. I'm between Vance and B. I have B on my oh. left. And, 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 <laughs> no, no, so it's all I different left. because, yeah. <laughs> Probably, uh, you. I mean, each of us is next to the host. Maybe. 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 That would be very uh, reasonable as a plan. That's mm. interesting. So, I'm, I thought I'm that I was next to Bats. But that, it, I was only the, the only one. And I was, I'm so <laughs> lucky I'm next to Bats. No, but <laughs> this is important because this, <laughs> I, listen, this is important because as teachers, now that we know that gallery view is different for different, you can't say to your oh, student. Okay. Yes. The yeah. person in the bottom row or the uh, top right. row. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do that with them because right. they're seeing it differently. Now we mm -hmm. know that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who's on your that's right that's... or your left? We are always learning from oh, each other. Yes. <laughs> that's right. You, you could have them do an exercise to describe uh, what their gallery is. Okay, look, like. look at that. That's uh, naive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's a screen sharing. We, we could each take a screenshot and we'd yeah. see all the different versions. Mm. If we each we did could. a screenshot and saved it, we could see mm -hmm. everybody's different views of gallery. I have already, <laughs> yes. How can I share my screen? I'm going to share my screen, you see. I'm using uh, Zoom, not Zoom, sorry. I'm <laughs> using uh, uh, yeah, Screencast uh, Matic. I use, I use, uh, oh, I use I Snagit. I what I wanted to share. You Snagit? Well, same thing. <laughs> same thing as Screencast Matic. Yeah, I use okay. Snagit, so. This didn't work. <laughs> the moment I tried to get it, then uh, I got a black screen because Sue started sharing her screen. Instead of Okay. Yes, look at that. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know that there are also reactions at the bottom. You can, you know, show uh, yeah. something yeah. like yeah. that, you know. Ah, that's my, <laughs> that's every I time think. I try, somebody shares the screen and I get a black thing. No. Okay. <laughs> you have to go faster. I have to go faster. I'm trying to adjust things here. <laughs> Just, you know, use the reaction and go like this. Hey, please, I want to do it. Yes. You can raise your hand. Stop, stop. You can okay, raise your hand. Okay, now I got it. Raise your hand. Okay. You can raise your hand. Let me see hand. if it came out. <laughs> That's very cool. Like that. These people, people would never understand hand. how what much fun we have. They'd say, why do you all get together? What do you do? What do you talk about? They wouldn't understand. <laughs> no. Yeah. That's how we learn this. That's, it, it has to be playful. If it's yes. just like uh, following a manual, it becomes boring. And yes. I'm moving around because I cannot remember the fun. You have to have need to have fun. The fun. What was it? What, it is, what was it? Uh, bands. Fun. Frivolous. Frivolous. Unanticipated nonsense. Baited for nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> that has been my motto, you know. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, what do we got here? Okay. Uh, no, Who's this sharing this? In the, I was sharing, I think, but I couldn't see what I was sharing. I don't know. <laughs> we got you to look at some of your tax hand. documents and some bank statements. I don't know. It was something up there. You, you can raise your hand. I don't know yeah. if you see yeah. somewhere. Like Vans. Vans. You can see. You can. You can. I don't know if you can see that I raised my hand. You raised your hand. Let's see. Well, I'm, yeah, I've got the. The, let's see. Uh, yes, no, yes, yes I see a hand raised. Yes. <laughs> yes. What do I do? So you, okay. I can lower your hand. You must, there is a I way can mute to. You. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't. I'm speaking too much. <laughs> you can. You can drop it. You can. You can. Oh, I can lower uh, it. Yeah. I can yeah. lower your hand. Lower. Okay. Yeah. Your hand is lowered. Okay. Yes. Give her the the word. Give her the mic. The students, if they have a question, they can do it. Who's mm -hmm. clapping? I see how to raise my hand. In um, participants, on your name. Okay. <laughs> You can also announce that if you are drinking coffee, <laughs> if you need a break, you yeah. can All also I can do is rename myself you know. or mute myself. So you can say that you are away. Oh, I see Ray's hand. Hmm. Oh, I see Susan's coffee. It's recording, I think. Is that, uh, we see a little red button. Um, That's me. I'm design. recording. So yes. behave yourselves. <laughs> don't, don't do anything that can get you fired. Never, never. Nobody can never fire me paid. ever again. Okay, who, who was the one who was changing? Who was who was the one who was changing clothes? The sweater. Me. Oh. Okay. Ah, you mean the the green screen? Thing. Yeah. Oh, she got the green screen. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. It's very interesting. I, I don't know why it happens. But yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Because ah. <sighs> magic. I have, I have two green sweaters, right? Magic one, green I'm wearing coat, one, green And I found another one in the cupboard. And, and this, this is, is something that kids would love. Yes, this is a background that I chose in Zoom that I, I tentatively wanted to have as a background, just to have something. 
Yeah. Yeah. And then I found out that it doesn't work, but it works on all the green things. Yes. <laughs> so that's that interesting. Was, while you were talking and uh, doing other things, I was trying to, to change my outfit because I have this. Okay, be careful. Be <laughs> careful. We don't want you to get cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you imagine I more critics for poor Zoom. Now they are trying to destroy Zoom, like did, they did with Second Life. And you got griefers all over because mm. uh, you know. So it's happening with Zoom too. You got mm. uh, all. I'm, I'm reading, and 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 people are sending me links. You know, look what they say about Zoom. Is selling your Zoom hack, Zoom hackers, yeah. Zoom bombers, I think they are called. Zoom, yes, Zoom yeah. bombers, mm -hmm. yeah. And yes, that's, so. that's why I've got the waiting room, just in case. Yeah, yeah. I, I always and, use it. And the, and the, the, way, the reason the, students, the waiting room, uh -huh. there, there's a reason the waiting room is important because I thought about like what a drag to have a waiting room, but you, if you remove somebody, they can come back. But, they, but you put you them in the waiting the room. Option, if you have a waiting room, you Put can them the keep room. them sitting in the waiting That's room and they can exactly never it. get back in. That's That's exactly it. Yeah. That's and you why can I've put it. them the, and that you can put I them think. back over there. So Vance, you, I have a you, question. Uh -huh. If, if they when are, someone's in the waiting room, do you get notified yes. or do you have to keep yes. checking? No, no, no. It comes up on my screen above the participants okay. window. I've got that open. Okay. <laughs> I can see yeah. all the hands raised and the coffee cups and that sort of thing. I usually do is that my students write their names when they log in uh, while they are logging in. And if they haven't done that, I ask, I don't let them get into the room until I, I know who they are. Because when right. they log from their phone, from their phones, the, the name of the phone shows up, like phone, uh, iPhone 7 or any other name, commercial you make name. Them change it. Yeah. I have them change mm -hmm. the name. If yeah. they, and I don't give them, I don't take them out of the waiting room until they tell me who they are and I change their name if they don't know how to do it. That, that's another thing. Yeah. You can chat. Rename. Like, like you have yes, people you chat setting. to. You can chat to the waiting room. You can just pull mm -hmm. down where it's yeah. everyone. You can speak to the waiting room and say, hey, you're not getting in here until you change your name. Mm -hmm. And that's a setting you have to allow renaming, allow participants to rename uh, is also a setting. Mm -hmm. I, think that's I don't have that option in my chat. So maybe you have to be a host. I'm learning yeah, a lot. It's a host. I've, yes. I've just been you can, doing this by the seat of my pants. Right now? Right now I rename, I, I, I change my name or I add information in my name. Yeah. This is something that they can also... Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. used you know so mm -hmm. to do that you just uh, get on the three points mm -hmm. there and then uh -huh. you get a menu and there you can change okay. uh can a student enter uh twice the waiting room i mean as uh using his own name and some other name or is it one connection yes. by ip you can log from two different devices i, uh -huh. I usually do my my computer and the laptop the laptop to check what the the participant is looking at i have it on my left and i use the the, yeah. the pc as as my main uh, mm -hmm. uh, device yeah, and you can yeah. also use your phone and what about and students I, can they can they log in from many different devices if they know how to do it they can um, yeah you know you're giving me a really good idea here mm -hmm. yes monitor the groups and the oh, room and see uh, yes. yeah. uh, and that's really great idea because when of course with my with my daughter she's not on her own i'm co-host um my video is off i'm having a coffee at the background and on the chat room i do moderate because it's important to moderate with children you know it's, it's yes. very leaving the children to self-organize leaving them but i think we need to have someone Listen, and I. Mm -hmm. because we have children the five, and the ten years old, you wouldn't believe what they can share. <laughs> so it's important to be there, and also I open the, the 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 I access. We have a kind of thing like a door, and then yes. access. That's a setting too. Yeah. 
room and I until I recognize the, the email addresses. So they, they know they only can access with the email address I have. Mm -hmm. They can't. So uh, it's very secure and it is very, very important with young children to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you access from different uh, devices, do as, as you say, from different uh, mail addresses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I, um, I have someone I had to train how to be a host and make someone a co-host. So I came in twice, once as a host and once as a participant. And I made a video and uploaded it for her to YouTube to show her. Mm -hmm. I said, here's how you do it. Link, Click on Please put the link in know. the text chat. <laughs> you cannot come oh, here and say, I have these yes. and I have that. And... We are learning. It's just me. Learning. It's, it's, yes, 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 I do. Please. You're learning. This is the way we All learn. Right. And then we tell people. It's yes. very unpolished. It's not, it's no just. No problem. It doesn't matter. Yes. Oh my it's only going to be in the text chat. What no am I going to do it. with you people? <laughs> <laughs> I should keep my mouth public. All right. It's on YouTube. I'll give you the link. All right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, thank yeah. you. Yes. <laughs> Oh, we, are, uh, we are going to share to search your name and see everything you have. No, it's unlisted. You can't find it. Oh. I don't. I always it unlisted for all my YouTubes. You, if you don't have the link, you'll never see anything of mine. Mm, okay. <laughs> yes. Have you ever tried puppets? You know, I puppets. get this. That's so, who's this man? Who do you think this is? But well, he used to have more hair. But now, ah. no. <laughs> <laughs> did you, did you get yours? Princess puppet. Yes, and you got a star. Of course, you're really good. So I got all <laughs> things here, you know, for the little ones. And nice ladies get this. You know. Oh, Sue, the dogs. Yes, <laughs> for my garden. <laughs> yeah, no. Look at that. <laughs> Well, guys, I gotta go. I haven't had lunch yet, and this mm -hmm. is, I'm gonna have, I'm have to my dinner. Dinner lunch for my boys. <laughs> to have seen oh. you, Daphne. Bobby's done the dinner. So Bobby, yeah. a hug to you all. A hug, a bye. Yes, a hug yeah, to you all. A group <laughs> hug. <laughs> yes. Yes. Group hug. Come on, we're doing group a group hug. hug. Oh, group hug. look up there. Yeah. Hello, hey. oh, Bobby. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye -bye. Bye -bye. Next bye -bye, month, bye -bye, next everyone. Sunday. Next week. Next week. Next week. Same time okay. next week. Same time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> okay, hi, Rita. Bye-bye. <laughs> Everyone's gone. <laughs> Okay, so I, d I don't think I said it, but this is Learning Together, episode 451, I believe. And um, let's see, and it's the 19th of April and 2020, and this has been Learning Together, episode 451, I just said that. Also, Talon uh, event number nine, and the fourth weekly Webheads in Action. Time to meet on Sunday at noon GMT. So if you're watching this, you're welcome to come to the next one. Uh, go to Talon, sorry, tinyurl.com slash T-A-L-I-N 2020. That will get you to Talon or you can come to learningtogether.pbworks.com. That will show you the schedules for all the things that Learning Together does. And, okay, hope to see you again soon. Bye.